Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today, we're going to be talking about the Houston Astros potentially signing first baseman Christian Walker, uh, who is a great defensive first baseman, um, three-time gold glove winner um, from the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'd love to see the Astros sign Christian Walker. Um, the Astros have been linked to Christian Walker. The main reason I am talking about this signing is because there was a Bleacher Report article that was 10 best landing spots for Christian Walker. And listed number three are the Houston Astros. I'd love to see the Astros bring in Christian Walker. I would say I'd rather see Christian Walker compared to Pete Alonso. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and tell you guys that he's better than Pete Alonso, but I think he has stats that are better than Pete Alonso. Um, I, th I still think Pete Alonso is a better player than Christian Walker. Obviously, you want the better player, but I th what I think personally is I think uh, Christian Walker is very cheap compared to what you're going to have to pay to get Pete Alonso. Um, I think, look, I think Christian Walker is going to be an ex expensive addition as well, but I, I, he's, he's, he's way cheaper than what you would have to pay to get Pete Alonso. Uh, 130 games for Christian Walker in 2024, 552 played appearances, 479 at bats, 72 runs scored, 120 hits, 26 doubles, 26 home runs, 84 RBIs. Uh, did strike out 133 times. Strikeouts actually went up compared to the year before. That is not something that would be great for this Astros team. Um, yeah, but batting average 251, OPS 803, 2,257 games, 582 at bats. He had 86 runs scored, 150 hits, 36 doubles. Two triples, 33 home runs, 103 RBIs, 11 stolen bases, 127 strikeouts. Batting average is 258. OPS was 830. So, look, I think it'd be a solid addition for the Astros. I don't know if the Astros end up making a move at first base. Uh, they might be more prioritized at third base if Bregman leaves re-signing. You know, if, if, you do, if you're not able to sign Bregman, I, I feel like the Astros might maybe potentially prioritize going out there and getting – a, 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 you know, a real solid replacement for Bregman. Uh, Ad Adamus has been mentioned. Polanco has been mentioned. Um, and and maybe just stay in-house with what they have at first base already with Dubon and, and Singleton. Although, um, yeah, that's, that's it's very interesting to see what would happen there. What I'd love to see, if, if Bregman leaves, I'd like to see maybe the Astros potentially explore not replacing Bregman at third base keeping the replacement in-house with uh, Mauricio Dubon to be the third baseman, and then going out there and getting maybe a first baseman like Christian Walker or Pete Alonso, and, and then maybe you, with some money left, can potentially go out there and get a left fielder or a pitch or, or you know add to relief pitching, something like that. I don't know. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens this offseason. The Astros got to make some decisions. Um their their division rivals are getting better at the same time too. I mean, the Rangers just signed Kyle Higish Higish sorry Higishioka. Uh, the Angels have been making a crap ton of moves, stealing away from us as well. Took away Yusei Kikuchi. They've made a bunch of other additions to their team, uh, and this is something they do every year. But uh, I think this is the best the Angels have added to their roster over the last couple of years. They, they've added in a great pitcher in Yusei Kikuchi. I think all Astros fans got to see how good he is. And then they've added in a lot of other talent as well. Jorge Salar, um, a bunch of other players, Kyle Hendricks, um, Kevin Newman, a lot of other players that they've added in. So um, now also Travis Darno, another guy I forgot to mention. So the Angels are improving. Uh, slowly, and I think they're not done this off season. The Rangers, I don't, I don't know if I'd say they're improving, but uh, I, I think they're gonna. They've, they've, they've already made a, you know, signing, adding in a very solid catcher. I don't think they're done. Um, I'm not too worried about the Athletics, to be honest. But uh, I'm sure the Mariners are gonna probably be busy this year in free agency in the off season as well. So the Astros got to compete with their rivals. Let me know your thoughts on the Astros potentially signing Christian Walker in the comment section and peace out.